this is it. We're down to the two best teams in the world and just moments away from the most exciting fixture in football, the World Cup Final. Stay with us. We'll have all the action live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And they kick off here. Perfect tackle. Griezmann. And in with a real chance. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. We're back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good move in the making from France. But they took care of the situation defensively. Intense pressure. With that, the attack fizzles out. And he's made headway. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. Paredes Rodrigo de Paul A 
do they mean business on this occasion? Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Well, there it is. France just haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. This attack looks highly promising. Really good challenge. Teammates available. Oh, big chance. It has to be, surely. Well, with that wanting to put too fine a point on it, that goes down as a tame effort and easy for the keeper. Rodrigo de Paul. He's going forward well here. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And the ball is moving again, with France looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Martinez. And unable to keep the ball. In with a chance! Oh, he squandered the chance! And he was clean through as well. Now their hopes rise as they win a corner. But he's gone short with it. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Messi! Now he's such a highly respected goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. And they're going for the short one. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. And played short. Di Maria. And he takes it on. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And fine reading of the situation. And teammates around him. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Fired over by Messi. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Intense pressure. Oh, it might be. And keeping it out. Short corner taken. Growing pressure here, and another corner. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture.
And taken short. Just the challenge that was required. Coleman. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Now options are plenty. Big chance to get them on turns. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Number 10, Lionel Messi. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Teammates available. Griezmann. Not on the crowd, they want to see him take on the shot. Not giving him a moment's peace. Careless in possession. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time. And you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Dybala really is obsessed with taking the game to the opposition, but can they produce from here? France giving away possession. Marcos Acuna. Room to Rome here for France. Oh, managing to beat him. Straight forward for the keeper. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. And the match is underway. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Not taken away. He won the ball. Dybala on the attack is there to be late drama well the referee trying to play advantage there but it wasn't forthcoming 
And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than that. Dybala. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can he find the right pass? He must finish! And just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game, that's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. Now the delivery. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. A final that will live long in the memory. It's not finished yet because it's going to come down to a penalty shootout to settle the outcome.